Thank you, uh, Chairman Durbin, Ranking Member Grassley, and the distinguished members of the Judiciary Committee. Thank you for considering my nomination to the First Circuit Court of Appeals. It is my sincere privilege to appear before you today. I'd like to thank President Biden for the honor of his nomination. And I want to thank my home state senators, whom I greatly admire, Senators Reed and Whitehouse, for their support throughout this process. And a special thank you to Senator Whitehouse uh, for that wonderful introduction. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank my parents and family for a lifetime of love and encouragement. It's my pleasure to introduce you today to my mother, Ellen, my brother, Damien, and his wife, Stephanie, my sister, Marie, her husband, Charlie, and their daughter, Anna. Watching from home is my sister, Anne, her husband, Soren, and my mother-in-law, Joyce and many, many nieces and nephews, aunts, uncles, and cousins, and a legion of neighbors and friends who have always been by my side, helping me in ways big and small. And of course, a special thank you to my husband, Craig, for his love and his incredible good humor, especially in the last few weeks. And to our eight-year-old son, Matthew, who is missing a little league game to be here today with me. I would also like to express my sincere gratitude to my colleagues in the Rhode Island Public Defender's Office. It has been a privilege to work with all of you for so many years. You've helped me in more ways than I can ever name. And thanks goes also to my broader Rhode Island legal community, the judges in the Supreme, the Superior and District Courts, who've inspired and educated me. And of course, thanks, my thanks also goes to the prosecutors and law enforcement officials and officers in the Rhode Island criminal justice community who've enriched my professional experience immensely. It is a profound honor to appear before you today, and I welcome your questions. <laughs> 